Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the latest um, you guys have done to try to get some activism on the ground in the streets, rather than just. So, uh, for the people that don't know, Atheist Republic is moving to a, a political direction. We're trying to uh, organize rallies and protests. The first one that we're trying to do this with is with Sohail Arabi, who is in uh, prison right now for insulting Prophet Muhammad. Uh, he has been on and off death row. So we're going to event once we get a hang of this and we need you guys your advice on this and in the comment section because we're basically this is a tr um, learning experience for us. Uh, we're trying to do more street activism rather than just online activism. Um, once uh, we're, we're starting with Sohail Arabi trying to bring awareness uh, to him. But to do that, we need to get rallies and protests organized. Right. Um, and. Atheist Republic has a huge global presence online. We basically are trying to see how we can translate that online global presence to offline street activism. Uh, so the, the idea is that if we, if we organize protests and then we contact reporters to cover a certain case, for example, somebody like Sohail Arabi who is in prison for blasphemy, right now he's not getting much coverage at all very very little right if we organize protests like in front of iranian uh, embassies in london in in you know ottawa and um, manila and uh, different places and we get rep local reporters to cover it then we could use this local reporter coverage to then go to politicians to see if we could get politicians to see that this is getting news coverage as you and then get the politicians to put some pressure on the on Iran for for a case, and then Ali mentioned that her hope is that once we learn how to do this more, the more, more effectively, we can do one you know blasphemer every two months that we that is in trouble, one blasphemer in trouble in trouble every two months. Right now we like this might not. Hopefully this works for sake of Sahel Arabia. I hope this works. We don't know how many people are going to show up, but um, Ali and Alice. Hi, Alice. Hello. I um, have done a lot of work. Um, we, there are some other people that are doing on the behind the scene, um, and Alice knows a little bit more about that. Uh, do you, Ellie and Alice, do you guys want to tell us a little bit about what have we done to try to get people to? We picked a date, August seventeenth, right? To people for people to go outside. We come up with a hashtag Free Sohail, right? Uh, let me see if I, I'll pull. I'll, bring the free soil hashtag and show it on this screen uh, and we want we want to get as many people chris i hear i think uh, i hear a little background noise i don't know who that is um mute yourself chris if you're not talking because uh, they're getting way too much background noise uh so august oh. 17th we want people to come out in the streets and you know raise hell okay uh, but even before August 17th, we're trying to use the hashtag to bring attention to the fact that August 17th is the day that we're doing this, right? So we're getting people to use the hashtag Free so Hell, to post pictures of themselves with the hashtag Free so Hell, um on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. And then we go, we use that hashtag to go find them. And the people, if people, are, if you're using the Free so Hell hashtag to mention this, make sure you mention August 17th and mention where you guys are gathering, okay? So we have to tell people about where to find the local events. So, so I've been talking for too long. Go ahead. I'm going to meet you, Chris, because you have way too much background noise. Hold on. All right, go on. Alice, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Um, I can I can give you a brief um, okay. a brief of what I've been doing. Um, so I, we've got um, what about two hundred consulates worldwide, all over in different countries. Mm -hmm. Um. And many of them have got local people who run those consulates. And so I've been going around all the different consulates and um, asking the local people there if they're able to uh, organize something to, um, yeah, to, to be participating in this campaign. So it's really just a matter of um, getting to know people and networking and then, you know, getting these individual events um, organized um, so it's yeah it's quite a lot of work because there's a lot of people involved a lot of different people who have got all their own time schedules and and so on but yeah so we'll just keep talking to people and and encouraging them to get get see if they can get something happening and obviously every city is 
in a different country has different circumstances. Right. So, you know, some sometimes it's not maybe not so safe for some for some people. So the the yeah, you have to assess all of those different things. Um, and each each place has, uh, you know, some some have consul uh, Iranian embassies and some don't, and so you know we're just sort of looking through all the different logistics of it all. Um, right. So, um, how many admins have which cities so far? The admin so by the way, for people that don't know, the consulates are basically atheist republic local groups. We basically created. I mean, uh, but thanks to uh, Alice, we have a, our consulates are now a lot more active than they used to be. Um, but basically, we created um, a lot of groups in local groups because we wanted to make sure that atheists in different cities find each other. Because if you, our page is massive with two million uh, uh, people from around the world, but these people can't organize events together because. One guy is from Manila, the other one is from United States. So that's why we create local consulates, right? Uh, so people that are local next to each other can find each other and manage events like this, right? So, but um, we it's up to the admins of each one of these consulates to basically um, organize these events. So, and some, some consulates is easy because the admins are very, very passionate and they have time and they would really want to do something. Some of them we either need to encourage them or find new admins that would be interested in doing this stuff. But so far, what, it's, what is it looking like? How many, uh, how many admins have shown some interest, picked a location, um, are involved in the uh, Free Sohail event? We've had quite a good response through Europe um, with different admins um, creating events. Um, and... Um, in Melbourne, there was a group who were talking about arranging something. In Turkey, in Austria, uh, in Italy, we've had um, people who are quite active, uh, probably in Germany too. So it, I think it's early stages to sort of give people the idea, get them to create events in their own group, and then, you know, sort of build, build momentum up to, up to the date. Okay, um, I'm actually seeing. Okay, let me actually show people on the uh, my screen. Okay, just as an example, let me let me know, guys, if you see it. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so I see this one with the free Sohail. By the way, if you use the hashtag free Sohail, please make sure you spell it correctly. Sohail, uh, so it's um, hashtag free Sohail. It's S O H E I L. Um, so I like this. Who who made this cover? This is perfect with pictures and the logo and the August seventeenth. Um, who made this cover? I like this one. Do you go? Have you guys seen this before? No, I haven't. This is my first time seeing this. So okay, I liked. I just retweeted it right now. So I like this one. We need to make more like I this retweet one. Retweet that too. Yeah, so this is this is fantastic. Who is this Bobak guy? Thank you for. Uh, I'm gonna follow this Bobak guy because, um, and I think this is Terma's work because she said she's gonna work on posters. Uh, by the way, you guys, uh, Terma is uh, helping us. Uh, she's she, she's amazing because she's actually a refugee herself right now and she's like escaped uh, Iran. And while she's escaping, she's organizing events in Europe. So uh, she's an atheist uh, that was basically just recently escaped death in, death in Iran. So what what has she been doing, Alice? Yeah, so she's been um, messaging with a lot of the um, admins around in Europe and um, encouraging them, helping them to nut out the details. It's, mm. it's really good, actually. She's very sweet. Okay, is that why the European groups are a little bit more active because of her? Yeah, prob yeah. Well, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so it's it's hard to know because I don't, I ha I haven't been calling them, just messaging. So people probably at work or different time zones, so you don't always get a reply straight away. So I'm going to try to get that cover, uh, that banner uh, from whoever made it. And maybe we could start spreading that because that's just perfect. There's nothing else needed, right? That's we amazing. Absolutely. And it fits exactly the criteria that we want it to. Um, 
So I, I think that's great. And I just want to point out like how much work Alice has actually done. Mm. Yeah, she's sitting here giving the update. Mm. But um, if it weren't for Alice, Alice has gone in and literally created these events for admins who couldn't. Um, and like, like she mentioned earlier, we have over 200 consulates. And Alice has just been getting this done. I mean, she is kind of the backbone of what's going on right now. Like she is really actively working with admins, getting things done. Um, and Turkey actually did a, did an event recently um, because they were so inspired by Alice working with them. So um, while we do want everyone to do it on the 17th, if you, know, if you are in a country where you feel it might be dangerous because a lot of people are already knowing about it or something like that, um, then of course, just post your pictures with a hashtag FreeSoHeal. Yeah, yeah, and actually, I'm glad that Turkey did it before August 17th because we need some videos and pictures to show to promote August 17th, right? Yeah, and, so and I, Alice, Alice was the cause for that, so I just <laughs> wanted to point yeah. that out. She has been doing excellent. Work. Yeah, and by the way, Alice, I don't know how she does it because she does uh, she does so much. I don't. Know, she's very effective. But she needs help. So if anybody is watching this, um, let me actually show you where our consulates are. So what what we need right now is people to join the, our consulates, right? So this is if you just search on Google for Atheist Republic consulates, uh, you should be able to find this page, and you can see all the countries are here. And then, for example, if you go to let's say uh, United States, where is United States? It's down here. So you can see United States, you can see all the cities for United States here, and then you could join a, uh, w the city that you want to help organize. Join the event and go find the event that Pro Alice probably made for, for this event and see if, if the admins are taking it seriously or not. If they're not taking it seriously and you want to encourage it and you want to help promote that event and get people like use the poster, use the banner and get people out be from behind the screens to come like you're like, hey, I want to help with this event. Like, hey, who else is going to join me? But guys, you don't need, you know, even if two people show up, even if, you know, two people show up, one person could hold a banner, the other person could take a picture. OK, like, don't be like, oh, only two people showed up. This is not worth it. Th that picture, like if we add that picture to all the other pictures that we're covering, like if you go in front of Iranian embassy or if you don't have an embassy in your city, something somewhere else, somewhere symbolic about your city, like um, you know, that shows that it's your city um, and take a picture with Free So Hell, if, even if it's two people, even if it's just your, let's, you'll go there and you show, just take a selfie if no one else shows up, okay? If you just send us that picture, that just adds to all the other pictures that we have to, that we could show this is a global thing, okay? So don't be discouraged. Some cities are going to be bigger than others. Don't be discouraged by the number. Just join these consulates and see if you can help Alice with these events, okay? Because right now, she's, I don't know, she's like a one-woman army right now. Um, I, so we, and she, she needs help. So this is really what we need in every city. And if you are really want to help, then you could also help with uh, events more than, more than the city that you're in. Um, so, so, uh, so, uh, Ali, can you send me the pictures from Turkey so that we could like pr uh, promote, use that f for promotion stuff? Yes. And maybe, yeah. Okay. And Anna is our social media uh, person, so get in. You could get in touch with her to start, uh, you know, posting the banner, uh, posting the, uh, I don't know, uh, videos that we have from Turkey. Right and everything else. Um, one thing else I wanted to say, so, Chris, did you you wanted to let me unmute Chris because I muted him, so maybe you wanted to say something and you couldn't. How do I unmute you, Chris? On you have to unmute unmute yourself. I can't unmute you. Sorry. Do you know how to unmute yourself? Click on your microphone at the bottom of the Skype thing. Okay, figure it out. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. Okay. Good. Go. My Don't God, Chris, your your audio is so bad. Next time, make sure you have a better headset. But go on. Yeah, I will. I'm I'm sorry about that. It's just oh. these are cheap Bluetooth headphones. So, um, <coughs> the uh the consulate group that I'm in, the Madison, Wisconsin consulate group. Right. Our admin, our admin in there, Alice Knight. She's doing a really she's doing really good about the free so hell event she right. already post posted it in there and we're trying to figure out if we should trying to figure out if we should like do an individual thing and just take pictures 
or if we should try to figure out a meeting place to go to for everyone who's interested in in it. And plus, we're considering making a messenger group for the people who are interested in it to promote even more ideas for the event as well. So there's a, there's a two th- two separate things, okay? I think the pictures with the free so hail of yourself individually can be done way before August 17th to bring attention to August 17th, right? Just make okay. sure if you're holding a sign, just be like, if it says free so hail and you're using a hashtag free so hail, just make sure you say August 17th, come out, join the protest, join the protest on August 17th, right? Um, and then maybe in the caption say find find your local consulate here and then just link to the consulate page, right? Um, j- use that, you know, so you don't have to wait for August 17th to use the pictures on Facebook. Again, make sure you use the hashtag on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll find it and we'll retweet you, okay? Or if on Atheist Republic, we'll share. On uh, on Facebook, make sure you put it as public so we can share it on the Atheist Republic page. On Twitter, we'll find your tweet and re- retweet it. And on, um, on Instagram, we'll share it as a story to Atheist Republic story. And, and a lot of these places, we have a lot of followers, so it will bring a lot of attention to your post if you just use that hashtag, okay? So... Um, yeah, just it's very simple, guys. Just say August seventeenth. Uh, join us on August seventeenth to free so hell. Find out more. I mean, something. Just explain the situation. Be like, find your local consulate here. Find uh, find find the event in your city here, and then link to the consulate page. Right? I think that would be a great idea. Right? Um, and just also mention for a free Sahel for mentioning the caption of the tweet or Facebook page or Instagram that Sahel Arabi is, is in prison in Iran for for insulting Prophet Muhammad. Okay, that's all it needs to say, right? Guys, do you think that's a good idea for promoting this? I do. Yeah. Yeah. How, do you guys have any suggestion on how we could encourage more people to get involved and become encouraged, like? I, I, you guys and also people that are watching this in the comments, let us know wh- what do you think we could do. Like because we're, this is a learning process from for us. Like we want to become eventually like try everything and then see what is the best method to get people out, get people in the streets. So do you guys have any other suggestions other than what we're doing? I think that you know p- individuals can feel like, um, you know, well I can't really do much. You know, I'm not I'm not that good at this stuff or, or something like that but the power of having um, an image of of yourself holding a banner and like you say when you multiply all of those you've got hundred you know hundreds of individuals pulled together and it does <clears throat> it does send a strong message and we and we really need to raise awareness about these cruel human rights violations of people's basic freedom to think and believe what they want to believe right. and not be basically jailed or killed for it you know and your individual like you say a one person protest is amazing it's a hundred percent better than doing nothing and yeah. if you can do that if you can you don't even ha- even if you don't have a printer you can just hold up your mobile phone with a picture of the banner and get a friend to take a picture with that with that banner if you if you're concerned about showing your identity don't show your identity but just have the name of your consulate there where mm. you are in the world with with that banner with that hashtag and and encourage others be an inspiration for others to do something to to pull together and and to and to raise awareness so that we can change the world basically <laughs> Right. Alice, thank you for that. I think a lot of people are afraid to show their faces. We have a lot of consulates from places where this is dangerous um, for them to be protesting. So that's thank you for bringing that up. If you can't show your face, don't show your face. You can still be involved. Right. And and thank you for also reminding us why uh, why we're doing this because sometimes we get so. Uh, you know, and get involved in uh, in the planning it, and we f- we uh, f- like we forget what we're trying to do. And I, f- I want people also to know that because a lot of times people say like, "Oh yeah, I know this is happening, but what can I do? What can I do?" Well, now we're giving you an opportunity to do something, and we're trying to make it very easy for people to do something. And it it does help, honestly. These things do help. Okay, 
Uh, we have done other things before that gotten people out of serious trouble before, but we have done it like we have been successful once every two years or so. But now we want to see if we could come up with the best ways to do this on a on a massive scale. And we need your help. And you, there's not that there's not that it's not a big request okay using the hashtag taking a picture with a poster or just alice even made it easier just with your phone with the banner with says free so like take a picture with that like we we're making it so easy for you to get involved and it really does help us okay so next don't there's no there's zero excuses for not helping okay if you guys want to become you know a little bit of an activism for your fellow atheists for your fellow blasphemers around the world this is this is not that big of an ask please 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 get involved okay don't just be a like a keyboard warrior this is you know this is how this is how we change things right this is i mean and if you think that there's something that we could do better or if you have any suggestions on how to motivate people to get more involved or if you want if if, if you want to get the involved in the planning and the organizing uh, just find these consulates okay find your local consulates join and be like hey I want to help. How do who I talk to and tag? You know, maybe Allison is in most. Alice, you're in all of the consulates, aren't you? She is. Okay, you're in all of the consulates. Just tag, find Alice in your local consulate and be like, "How can I help you, Alice?" Okay, ask Alice. Okay, um, but yeah, um, Chris, what do you think? Where's Chris? Well, I'm I'm here. Yeah, I think. One issue a lot of people have with protest isn't the actual protest itself. It's the feeling that just just because it's only because there are only a f small amount of people, like three, maybe four, sometimes that they're not going to make a difference. That protesting doesn't really do anything. So we have to be able to show them that protesting actually does work. That even if it's you're just even if you're a small per even if you're a small group you can make a difference because that's what the mindset that people have unfortunately is that i'm just a small group i won't be able to make a difference right. and we got to prove it wrong right so so for example that's a very good point chris for example let's say like let's say you're in paris and nobody other than you in paris is taking this seriously right but think about what happens if we have 15 pictures from around the world right uh, and then your picture is just one more picture, 16th, and it's, it's you with the Free Sohail, you know, poster next to the Eiffel Tower, right? Just adding that on top of the pictures that we have makes the whole thing seem a lot more global, right? So you're just one person, but you just add it to the, like, even if you don't have, like, a, a you know, something next, it, even if you don't have a landmark that shows that where your city, wh where you're from, just put a name write down the name of your country or your city on the poster right just that just now you're just one person that made the whole thing seem a lot more global so see that th that's how big of a difference also another point um just make sure if um if if your group actually does become big you figure you check into the rules on how you could like do you need a permit in your city for a protest or something like that like make keep everything legal okay um figure out if you need if you need a ra if you're doing a rally or anything like that uh, where do you go and get get the permit and all that stuff way ahead of time okay um all right any anybody want to add anything yeah, I'm thinking about um, in terms of involving the press. What what have we um, done so far about involving the press, and who's going to be pushing that side of things? Well, I mean, Terman wanted to uh, get involved in that, but I was going to wait until we have some, um, lit, you know, how many? Do we have any events like planned? You know, solid like plans or yet? Because then we, that's the time when we go talk to the reporters to show up. And not only that, but we do have, at least I have a list of contacts for people in the press. Um, local so for, we need local for every city. Local for every city. Okay, so that's yeah. and something we can start doing as well. Right. So, for example, I would, you know, I need to see... <sighs> This is what this is how this is how you know one consul is taking it seriously when they already picked the location, and they have like details on um, what they're about to do. Okay, 
Um, do you, do you know anybody that has gotten that far yet? Like they already picked the location? No. Uh, so, yeah, there are a couple of consulates that have got have got oh. locations. Uh, very very active. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So and the ones that this is actually the the main sign that shows that they're moved to the next step is that they have picked a location. So let let the admins uh, that are serious but haven't picked a location to ask them like, okay, have you guys picked a location? Do you know what you're doing? And as soon as they say yes, we have, then that's those cities. Like we need to have a list of the cities that are moving forward with this. Those cities is where we contact the local reporters and we try to get local reporters show up at the protest. That's what we want to do, okay? That's a good I'm idea. wondering, too, we can write to the other admins, um, even in our, our admin group, and just let them know that, let them know that certain admins have picked a location, and this has already started. Ooh, and just good remind idea. people, hey, other people have started this. Okay, you so. Too. I'm wondering also if people can, um, you know, we've got social media now. If you're going to take a, a, a selfie, with um, the hashtag and your the name of your consulate, w with or without your your face is fine. Mm. Um, and then we've got social media. Find your local press and post it on their wall, mm. on their Facebook, on oh, their Twitter. Tweet it to them, and use the hashtag spelt in English. Mm. And that way, when people are searching for the hashtag, they will find your picture. And that way, that's how you make an impact is because you put the hashtag in there and we'll start to see the pictures with all the different names of all the cities all over the world. And I think that's what's going to start the momentum. If we do that up leading up to the event, just take a selfie to start with. Mm. with that's the brilliant. So that's a great idea. Okay, so let's do that. And let's see if we could, by next meeting, if we have at least one reporter that is taking this seriously, Okay. Can we, let's try to do that. But also, so let's let, let's tell the admins that haven't picked a location two things. One that um, other admins have, right? So like they're like, all right, look, this city and this city, they already picked a location. Have you guys picked a location? Maybe that will get them more encouraged to move forward with this. And also let the admins know once they have a plan we are going to try to get reporters to show up there. I think that might encourage some admins to take this a little bit more seriously. So maybe we should let the admins know that once everything is planned, we're going to, at that point, we're going to start contacting local reporters to show up at their protests. Okay? So, but don't waste your time on cities that haven't become serious because we don't want, we want to make sure that we only start spending our time and resources on trying to find local reporters in places where we know there's a protest happening. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And also, if people, who, whoever is watching this or listening to this, if you guys know any reporters or know how, um, not just reporters, also NGOs, okay, that might want to cover this or talk about this or get involved with this, um, contact us, let, let us know, um, you know, let us know how, you, how we could get in touch with these people and how we could get them to cover this. All right. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Uh, we're getting to 30 minutes. We want to make this sh these sh meetings um, under 30 minutes. Anybody ha else has anything to add? I was actually just wondering about what are the chances of getting some airtime and doing a uh, small 10, 15 second commercial or something like that to promote, to, uh, promote the protest. We don't have a budget for that. So, okay. no. yeah. Oh. Yeah, we, we're, we have to rely on trying to get organic coverage in this. Um, but maybe in the future, maybe if more people join as members, paid members, we can look into this. We see if that. Um, in fact, in the future, if one city is really becoming active, let's say London Council, uh, Atheist Republic's London Council is being very active every time we have this. Um, they have really good events. Then what we can do is we could buy a local ad, maybe if we have the budget in London. Uh, for, yeah, maybe, yeah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but organic coverage usually works better anyway, so we'll see. Um, anyways, um, Alice, did you want to add anything? I'm good. Good, Ali? I'm good. good. Okay, so mission for next week is to uh, find a way, maybe with Terma's help, uh, on 
one or two consulates um, find local reporters that would be interested in covering it. Okay? Cool? All right, cool. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop recording. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your help. Uh, Chris, thank you for your feedback. Um, Chris, you join in your local consulate. Be involved in planning and organizing. Let you ad let the admin know that you could you could maybe get involved in that. Okay. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.